Hey guys, for this video, I mean, it's in the title, nothing too crazy, because you don't need to go crazy. This game, I played it at 5 a.m. and I was really, really tired because I woke up at 6 a.m. for the previous morning. So I was in very low energy and it actually shows in my gameplay. I made some mistakes. I didn't go like for any mechanical outplay or anything, but just through the questions that I keep asking myself every single game, I end up at 10 CS per minute, having a great impact, and getting the victory. So even in no energy, if you have terrible hands and you're not able to think very fast on the spot, if you know where you're going and you know what you're doing, it's gonna be pretty easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, much love. <laughs> hey guys, we are gaming. Uh, I'm going to master series. This is the last game of our placements. Placements. Uh, it's pretty late. It's 4.40 a.m. But I'm late on the content. So we're going to do this. I might not talk too loud. But I will try to make this clear. And still provide good info. So as always. Do the thinking. Oh, yeah, It's because I was worried. Do the thinking. Uh, jungle tracking. Know your matchup. Make your plan. So, thinking bot lane is uh, like turbo scaling. It's really good scaling bot. Um, into action Lysandra, which sounds like really aggressive. If like Lysandra gets in range of Vayne, it shouldn't be too hard because Vayne is short range actually for an ADC. Uh, she can CC lock her and then action can just deal his damage. So, it can look pretty bad, but if they don't, if they go even. They're just gonna outscale. Um, okay. Mid it's Huey versus Katarina. So Katarina wants to get some kills and snowball on Huey. And Huey is just looking to scale up. So it's kinda, it's kinda same like their whole bot side. And same for jungle actually. Jungle Vi has more early pressure. Um, she has going pressure. She is. She doesn't need much resource to be useful, and Mastery is more of a power farmer. So, we need everyone to chill. Do we skip early? They all stronger, because even top. Yeah, I'm kiting, so I don't get hit by the blue buff when he uses Q. So against Arius, so now, uh, by the way, I know that Master Yi is starting top, so I can do something, I can just like, let Darius push to me and try to keep the wave on my side, and this way Master Yi can maybe come, so that's jungle tracking. Well, we know where um, Vayne, uh, Vayne started, by the way, started bot, maybe Nor jungle, I don't think we covered. So I'm kind of contesting the push, but not too much. So I was in, or I wasn't in target champions only. I'm not sure what happened. I get so so killed by uh, by a good player. I guess it happens. Uh, I don't know why, how did I auto a minion? I guess I wasn't in target champions only. I should have been. It's okay. Uh, maybe he can actually come back. That would be nuts. That would be a good play. Still, the wave was good because from the start we said that we were gonna push the wave. And put him under pressure of having to crash it with my jungler being top. Okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna chill for a bit. We're not playing the best League of Legends. Uh, he might look to Emi. He has no sims. I think Master Yi should come again. Yeah, I, I thought when I dashed in that I was going to get uh, my level up. 
So I want to play on the level of Tamer, Fundamentals. No. But actually it was not the level of Tamer. No, 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 no. And I guess they have Miss Prio. Now Katarina is going to join, so they have to kill fast. Yeah, it was bad from the start. I said it. They still go for it. It is what it is. Uh, just it gives me a bit of space for my top lane. I can crush that. And back with more gold. Doesn't lose much XP though. Uh, because I missed CS, actually I won't have the gold for tier 2 boots, but I think this is fine because he didn't buy boots himself. So I'm still faster than him. I always have our sims on the same timer. And I have more XP. So this is gonna end up being winning for me. Um, okay, I see Vi. I was gonna say I wanted to ward grubs maybe. But actually see Vi. So there's no point in warding them for now. Mm. Let's see. Don't they beat him in my wave? With all lethal tempo, I sh certainly beat him. With the new one, it's a bit closer. They still do. The wave is really good for me, so I'm actually gonna base. Uh, I should have thinned the wave a bit, but it's good if I don't go for like two close or complicated plays. So the idea was if I can thin the wave, it's actually like not gonna kill mine that fast and it's gonna stay in this position. Now it's gonna crash, but you don't have to go for these kind of advanced like calculations. I just care the wave is good for me, I base. Now, because I'm playing through the mirror, I don't have to wait my whole HP. That hurts. I don't have to wait my whole HP bar. Well, basically, what made me uh, go for that play is because I pressed tab and I saw that he bought, well, HP. And I have double longsword and I run faster as him, than him, as I said. So... Pretty good reasons. I'm gonna actually move to grubs right now because I press tab and I see that Vi has a shutdown. So if Vi is indeed playing these as Master is suggesting, I wanna go there and get her shut down. And if she's not, well, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. So I lost XP for that, but the potential win is 600 gold. The potential, like the, not potential, like the loss is 70 or something. Maybe a bit more. Okay, he has three stacks, so I'm gonna wait for my stacks to fade. I mean, I really wanna kill that Vi. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, if she queues in, I'm gonna ghost. No, I don't get it. Uh, I can help him for a bit of time, but also for experience. And if Darius based, which is possible, because we don't see him and he's not contesting or anything, I can afford to go top, crash that wave, and then spend a good amount of gold. Well, 
Well, we got our mastery pretty fed. Just gonna slow him to make sure that the wave crashes. I'm also gonna just gonna stay here to get the plates. He defended the plates. He lost plenty of HP for that though. But I saw on the map Vai moving towards top, so I'm not gonna go crazy unless Master Yi comes. Maybe I went just a bit too crazy. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, the good thing is the wave is on my side. The bad thing is, well, I didn't spend my gold. So I have plenty of resources. But right now, I don't see Darius. I don't see him with W, so he's just like losing. Got an XP. Vi is not gonna stay top forever. Shit. Well, I guess Vi is gonna stay top forever. So I just wait, this is really important into, into this matchup. I just wait for Darius to... Really? But don't you have like spells that do the whole map? Okay, I don't see him with W. Um, yeah, you never want to Q before you ult because he burns you. And if you Q before you ult, well, then after your ult, you're just gonna die from the burn. I miss the plating now, but I really need to base, and well, I have my shot at basing. If I stay for the play, there's a chance that well he comes back first and cancels my base or just like clears the wave and I'm gonna lose even more. Okay, well this is not an insane start on my end, which is good because your games are gonna look like this sometimes. Not always gonna be able to get the lead even if you do the right things, but I didn't this game. Anyway, An let's see. Uh, well, basically, we're gonna do simple plays from now on. We're at minute 11. Until Nexus, I'm just gonna do uh, simple plays. For example, I have my ult in 20. Am I stronger than him? I think I am stronger than him. So I just look to fight him with ult. Also, I use ghosts. I still have main. So I let the wave push to me. It was pushing to me because I crashed it. Ah. Well, I'm gonna wait because I had I don't want to start the fight with a lot of stacks. So I'm gonna wait for the stacks to fade. And we all in. Okay, I'm not doing the best execution, but which is good again. Uh, so something that they did, some like micro thing that they did that mattered a lot, is that I like I know that he has flash and I have flash as well. So I actually stopped kiting him on the very last autos. This way, my character insta follows him when he flashes. And then it's also easier to react. And if I can get in range of auto, then I will. And if not, well, as I said, it's gonna be just easier to react. But bro, if you wanna take that, just take them. The issue, like, you cannot do two camps and then and then ask for help. I should have base though, but. We need to kill first, or I can help. Hmm. 
Uh, but but it's not coming. Uh, not cool. Really not cool. The good thing is I have Q's and he doesn't. And now what is he doing now? He's not taking the crabs. Oh, because they're gone. Okay, never mind. Isn't Vi invading? I don't know where things are happening. Also, it's pretty late at night. It's okay. Uh, oh, let's go Kraken. And now I have a big lead. And now, what do we do? So I like to be top for Herald because, well, I'm a speed pusher and we have grubs. So it's going to be really good on me. I can accelerate the game from that. Yeah, I think that at this point I'm two levels up. My Eden hit. That was not good execution. I only, uh, so I wanted to do short E in order to get out of the turret trench after killing him. But it was a bit too short. I didn't deal damage. This happens to me in like high elo a lot also because you want to go for you know like the the closest E possible. Because sometimes like a pixel is going to be the difference between getting one turret shot or two. And sometimes you're going to miss it. But it's better to miss it rather than not try it, you know. I cannot dive him from full HP like that. I can maybe, but I mean it's very not consistent. He has W to slow me, he has E to get me as well. He has Tabais, he has uh, Tiamat to clear the way very fast. So might as well take the objective. I don't think he's gonna woke up. Maybe he's in that bush. Or that one. I'm scouting with W. I don't have to go in the bush. That's another strong part of Trindamir. Okay, so here I'm actually gonna wait a bit. And the reason is I want that wave, that next wave. That's another fundamental. Track enemy waves by looking at yours. Basically. And I wanted that wave to walk up in order to I was talking about what? Yeah, I'm sorry guys, it's Giga Late. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I wanted the wave to walk up so I can I can farm it in a in a safe in a safe place. I didn't think that uh, Vile would be top because I know that we're playing for. I mean, for me, like teams should be playing for Drake, you know, and also was a bit unfocused. But same, like for dodging, like, guys, I'm not good mechanically, like, how did I dodge that? I mean, I did left and right, left and right, there was no thought, there was no, like, like, like there's just, like, bro, I'm running fast because I have goals, it's actually harder for her to hit me than it is for me to dodge. I'm not gonna use my E before he uses his. And if he doesn't, well, he doesn't. Mio should have never came top. But I mean, I think in his head, he's like, oh, this guy's fed and he plays well, I should help him. Well, no, that's not your mission. Mission is to be on Drake. And most likely, we lose that because there's no milieu. <laughs> yeah, and now, and now he pings me. No 
when he sees the support. But I mean, I don't really care about being pinged by Master Yi. E. Oh shit, that happened. Let's empty the jungle for a bit, and then I will go bot. Good. Mm, let's work on Navari now. I am your worst. Yeah, let's shoot this guy. shoot this guy and I advise that you do the same whenever people use the chat for random things uh, I don't like or fighting because I'm not applying pressure yet this may be a 5v4 and if they lose it we lose Nash basically oh what is Vay doing here Okay, okay, I should have maybe not flashed in. I got a bit too excited. Why did I think that I had the damage? I didn't check the items, like, because, like, he just pops, you know. Yeah, he has Deadmans and Tabais, and I was already, like, I don't have actually much damage to go through him. But it's okay. Like, what I did here is, from the start, I said it. I said me bot, because the objective is top, and I'm a split pusher, so I'm gonna split from my team. So if my team is going to play Herald, uh, Nash, which is supposed to be the play, I want to be bot. And if they send only Darius, well, because I'm actually ahead. Oh, also, I forgot that he took a triple kill. In my mind, he was weak, but yeah, he took a triple kill on Drake. Um. Anyway, if they send only one person, I should still win it. And if they send multiple, well, GG, we got Nash. <laughs> And now I'm going bot just because... Oh, by the way, like the game is in our hands and I know it from the start because I said it, they're all early game champions. And action has decent scaling. Um, and we have the scaling. So if they didn't manage to snowball, it means that we're the ones in a really good spot. And here I went bot because my was top already. Uh, when you have Nash, you want to push as many lanes as possible. And there's no Drake anyway, so... There's no like splitting away from the objective if there's no objective. Yeah, I saw him with W again. Notice how whenever I'm walking in, in jungle... Always looking at my W. Always, always. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. Me, there is. Okay, so now what I want to do is that I want to keep emptying the jungle. I want to make sure that they don't come back, that they don't get any resources. And I want to play for the objectives. So in a minute there is a Drake. So what I'm going to do is apply pressure top, for example. And here actually I'm not going to stay in pressure because I have a lot of gold. And I have my item, it's a pretty good one, you know. Uh, also have this to deal with Darius. I should have went for Trinket Pink Ward again. That's me being tired. Yeah, doing a lot of mistakes. At least I'm calling them so you can see what is good, what is bad. And now we are on the map with items before Drake. And we can get this mid prio. And what it's gonna do is that all you're gonna see mid lane, someone is gonna match it. And if no one matches it, well, guess what? They can play for Drake. They can play for Nexus. Shut 
Now, even if my jungler and my ADC are dead, well, we can still look Drake. There's no point in going crazy here. Well, I guess Hui cannot solo Drake. But again, like I, I don't think... I think I don't care that much about Drake. Like, we're not playing... Like, Soul is not gonna be what wins us the game, you know. Nor what wins them the game. Because it's gonna be over before that. I think I care more about, like, keeping a lead and then playing for Nash. There might be Vi on Drake, which might take it even. But again, I can't really give a shit about that. I guess. It's not gonna work. Got that. Okay, it's only Darius. We need, we need to dive him. I mean, we need, don't need to, but. Because I have Meteor, we can do that pretty easily. Okay. Maybe we can end here. Well, not the cleanest game on my end. But you see, even being like really tired, if you just do the exercises and do like, yeah, the mental exercises of asking yourself the right questions, and you're gonna see that game after game is gonna be the same questions in the loop, basically. Um, you can perform on low energy. Anyway, guys, this one, I think yeah, I'm going to post it. Uh, next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. So until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good again, have fun in game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Much love. Bye-bye.